tone, emotion, plot, and conflict. These are things you absolutely want to evoke to your readers on the cover, and one of the best ways to do that is with a tagline. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Megan, and here we talk about all things books, writing, grammar, and more. If you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a like, it helps me out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so let's get into this. So what exactly is a tagline? Taglines are short sentences on the covers of books, meant to be enticing enough to get you to pick up the book. While your cover and title itself should give your reader a pretty good idea of what the book is about, sometimes you need to tell them just a little bit more, and that's where the tagline comes in. It's not as long as your blurb, and it sits on the cover, so it's much more likely readers will actually see your tagline rather than your book blurb. It's the last chance on your cover to get readers to either turn it over and read the book blurb, or just read the book itself. What are the elements to a good tagline? Well, let's look at the elements, and then we'll dive into examples of good and bad taglines. Your tagline should be short, no more than one to two sentences, and usually shorter is better. It should enhance the cover art and the title to give information that's not already there available to the readers. It should hint at genre and tone. If you're writing a comedy sort of book, then it should be funny. If you're writing a horror, then more dark and disturbing will be fitting. And it should create interest toward your actual story. Don't just throw up random dark scary words on your cover and think that you're doing your job. It needs to tie into your novel and create a sort of mystery mystery and intrigue that makes your readers have no choice but to pick up your book because they want to know what happens next. It also needs to be original. Don't use generic lines like good versus evil or love lasts forever. These are things that could go on just about any book in that genre and doesn't pull readers to your specific novel. So let's take a look at some examples. A great example for a short tagline is from The Murder Game by Rachel Abbott. The first thing you notice about this cover is how fancy it is. We've got this invitation, a dining plate, and glasses and a calming blue color. In bold red is the title The Murder Game. From this I can make several guesses on what the book is about. Perhaps it's about elitists playing a game of murder with their staff or maybe it's about a game involving murder that lower classes can play for an enormous prize and the chance at riches. But add in the tagline everyone must play, and the book becomes much darker and more intriguing. It tells me my previous assumptions can't possibly be correct, the stakes are very high for our characters, and it's most likely a thriller, which means I'm in for tension and twists. Now for a bad example for the short tagline. This is from the movie Ghost Ship. The tagline is Sea Evil. This is a really, really bad tagline. It doesn't add any new information that we couldn't already get from the title and the cover, and the pun sets a tone for a comedy horror rather than a supernatural horror. A good example for enhancing the cover and the title is The Wicked Girls. The cover shows us this mysterious settings with three young girls who seem to be out playing in the neighborhood. The title tells us these girls may not be so good. On their own, this is not a book I would really care to pick up. But we get the best look into this story from its tagline. One summer morning, three little girls met for the first time. By the end of the day, two will be charged with murder. This is what pulls me into the story. I now know it's not just about a couple of mean girls, and this book will be horrifying and most likely painful to read, but I want to know what happens and I want to know why. A tagline that adds absolutely nothing to the cover is from the movie Bridget Jones's Baby. While yes, it does set the tone for the genre, it gives us no additional information that we can't get from her trying to stretch out her pants, or the fact that we know she's pregnant from the title. One book that creates mystery and intrigue really well is As Old As Time. It's obvious from the cover and title that we're getting a Beauty and the Beast story, but the line, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast, tells us everything we need to know about this twisted tale. A tagline that creates absolutely no additional intrigue to the story is the movie Christmas Vacation, whose tagline is, you'll crack up. We already know this is a Christmas comedy just from one look, so the tagline really doesn't pull you in anymore. A non-generic novel tagline would be red, white, and royal blue. True love isn't always diplomatic. It tells us the story is beyond just the title and cover, and it shows us the genre and tone. And it's definitely not your stereotypical generic romance line. I don't know any other book that would have this tagline. This is very original and specific to this novel. And one of the most generic taglines I have ever seen is from the movie Jaws the Revenge, which reads, this time it's personal. This tagline could go on just about 
any book or movie with action, drama, horror, or mystery. It's not creative and it's not specific enough to pull the reader in and create intrigue. So there you have it, my best tips for writing a tagline with examples on how you should and shouldn't follow these tips. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more bookish and writing related videos. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye!